Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Okay, so we want to thank Flojo, our newest Patreon. Thank you so much, Flojo. Thank you, Flojo. And welcome, everybody, uh, once again. So as we see here, we have a highway in L.A. that was shut down by a pro-Palestinian mob. There were two school buses, as you can see, that were stuck in this, as you can see the people there in front. Uh, here you see a little close-up, symbolically lighting a Hanukkah menorah while chanting down with occupation on the 110 highway. And officers taking pro-Hamas extremists into custody on 110 Highway. And not only that, but in, in effect, there was 75 people arrested after this Gaza ceasefire protest shut down uh, the 110 in downtown L.A. Some people took it upon themselves to remove the protesters, and it, it did get uh, ugly to a degree. Uh, we, we've seen worse uh, of course, that never excuses anything. Uh, but when you look at what happens is, you know, again, we are so, so, so incredibly divided. And I, so many people are so aware of the fact that everything that's going on is about intentionally dividing us and getting us uh, all full of all sorts of angst and anger and just division it is so Machiavellian, and yet it just works. It really works. The, this is how the control system has stayed in power because, you know, we are constantly doing nothing but fighting ourselves. This is over in New York and Queens. As you see, they're protecting Jewish businesses from mass Muslim protesters marching in the Jewish neighborhood. Um, and that's the NYPD moving them along so nothing uh, happens. It, it's We are in uncharted territory for this go-round of the great uh, R.E. Do. Let's just say R.E. Do. Um, <clears throat> how often does this R.E. Do happen, and, and, and what does it really look like? We, we're living in an illusion. Everything that we see is an illusion. I keep thinking to... Rowdy Roddy Piper in They Live. And and don't forget that the two t-shirts that were on the kids in that movie that we were talking about, one of them was NASA, never a straight answer, and they uh, and obey. The obey word was spelled just like obey in uh, that Rowdy Roddy Piper They Live movie. I know. That was that was really creepy. I, I you know, they're just pointing to so many truths that are actually I think they're very difficult for a lot of the human psyche to take it on as reality. So it's like there's got to be this little bit of cognitive dissonance so you can carry on and understand that, you know, ha have, have a normal life and do the things that you need to do. But this this is so sad. These people are so tied up and um, they're full of anger they're upset you know rightfully upset but they're going after each other and it's not each other that they need to have their energy directed it's these higher ups that are choreographing i mean every single bit and it's like i don't know i look at this and i wonder i don't know are are, are people ever going to get it um, most probably won't, <laughs> you know, but, but it's again about changing enough of a percentage so that we can shift the paradigm. <clears throat> and, you know, there also was a uh, incident where there was one of those upside down rainbow protests going on in New York. And there was a lot of people in the intersection, like stop in the intersection and somebody went through it looked like about 35 40 miles an hour at least didn't slow down and knocked a whole bunch of people around <clears throat> like like bowling pins uh by the way hunter biden today defied lawful subpoenas and we will now initiate contempt of congress proceedings we will not provide special treatment because his last name is b-i-d-e-n this is uh comer speaking so you have that going on if you can't see the writing on the wall it, it should be pretty obvious we're heading towards that that civil war period 
uh, the breakdown of society. Again, 2024 will be one for the record books. This is going to be the year of, of the greatest change we've ever seen in this paradigm, uh, this go round, this great RE do. Pentagon seeking EMP weapon to eliminate drone swarms and, uh, you know, faced with the reality that drones are reshaping the modern battlefields in Ukraine and in Gaza. The Pentagon has been tasked with finding budget-friendly solution to eliminate these flying IEDs. While missiles are too expensive and laser beams, no, they're not a distant dream. I mean, Israel's been using them all day long. Uh, and the reality is we'll, we'll see that. But at the same time, it's just that they're putting out here EMP weapon. This is the key thing to take. EMP, because we, we're going to be seeing EMPs in, in use, um, not necessarily one big one, but maybe many, many, many small ones. And again, isolated pockets. We uh, have had many people say, you know, uh, the control system can't afford to be down. That you can't really have the control system offline for too long in its entirety. I don't think we will see it in its entirety. In fact, I think most countries of the world won't see it really go down uh, much at all. But those of us in the NATO nations, yeah, especially those in the U.S. and maybe U.K. and a few other countries will, will definitely see time in the near future when we don't have um, our power, we won't have our Internet. We're gonna, it's going to be a, a, a challenging time uh, the months ahead. Yeah, you know, I, I think we need to put our energy toward how to sustain how we're going to live, you know, look for backups to our backups and just take a look around and see how, how are things going to go? What would that really look like? And just keep in mind, nothing is ever going to be perfect. You're never going to be 100% ready. Just continue to do your best. And, and right here you have a Turkish politician dropping dead on live TV right after threatening Israel. Turkish MP Hassan Bitsmets had a heart attack live on TV after threatening the destruction of Israel with the wrath of Allah. He was transferred to Ankara City Hospital, died earlier today, and there were comments and people even putting out posts saying, see, the one true God has spoken. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, you know, and I'll say gosh instead of God because the sheep will never, never learn. It's, this is exactly uh, how these snickering elites with all sorts of weapons, heart attack guns are a reality. I mean, we've known about heart attack, uh, quote unquote, guns for like 30, 40 years. It's been declassified. They can take out anybody at any time with a targeted weapon it, you know so you don't have to think it's an act of god it's this is how they in their in their meetings and stuff laugh at most humans because they do they they think you know humans are very very easy and simple to manipulate automatically they think it's an act of god meanwhile you have a canadian journalist who pushed uh ouchy mm -hmm, dates for men and camps for those that refused is dead at what number 33 okay so this is some sort of signaling too again yeah you know and and he's we can't keep up with the amount that have have dropped uh again puppets are puppets puppets you know when they're worn out they're tossed away it's just that simple because they've they're nothing but a puppet even though they might think they're more than that they're they're just nothing that more than a puppet to the real controllers uh, yeah, I mean, that's something that I think we continue to point out so that people know that they're, they are being used, they're being controlled, they're being puppets. Um, it's no fun to live your life for someone else. I, we're here to live our lives and have our experience for us. And that's just at every turn and every moment possible, the controllers, they step in and, and they do what they can to utilize our energy. And you have the first world leader facing murder charges over uh, decisions made with the plague upon the land and, and the call for the cure. So, you know, the, the reality is he understood things uh, that most people, if they were sane and didn't have a, well, you know, I, I can't go into too much detail here since we're going to try to put this up on YT. 
Um, but just let us say that, you know, here you go. This, this could be the beginning of an avalanche um, that's going to come on. And it doesn't matter as, as high as they view themselves as being, uh, they're truly nothing but puppets. And now the reality is some of them, we just won't know. Is this puppet number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Because there's uh, multiple actors, <laughs> there's multiple clones, there's multiple body doubles, wh whatever it is that, you know, is, is how your mind perceives it. Uh, you never know if the person you're looking at is the same one that you originally looked at, as we've seen with uh, 46 and, and, and HRC and, and so many others. It, it's just mind-boggling. Did you know in September 1957, James Vickery, American advertising executive, conducted a subliminal advertising test on 45,700 patrons at a movie theater for a period of six weeks, the Coca-Cola logo and Eat Popcorn were flashed on the movie screen for one three thousandth of a second every five seconds during the airing of motion pictures. So, so fast it was imperceptible to your normal state of consciousness. It was reported that Coca-Cola sales rose 57.7% and popcorn sales increased almost 20%. If you don't believe big TV corporations are still doing this today to engineer human behavior, think again and think bigger. How about our whole reality? How about our whole reality? What if our whole reality is actually an illusion? We've talked about these things in the skies and we've talked about, oh, look at that. It's got, it reminds me of sand on a beach, right? You know, when the ocean waves go over and make these, these interesting patterns. You know, we found aluminum, we found barium in these, and we've also found biological agents as well that can cause dis-ease. Uh, if the person is in a weakened state, but again, most people are in a weakened state because we are hit with all sorts of frequencies, uh, vibrations, unhealthy frequency ranges all the time, as we were talked about 432 and 440 and that uh, shift that was induced by the Rockefellers uh, so that all the music we ever listen to, unless it's somebody that understands this and has tuned their instruments accordingly uh, to a more harmonic resonance like 432, everything is dis dis discordant. Everything is, is, is disruptive. Everything is kind of toxic. You know, our water, our food, everything. And it goes on and on and on. But what if also what these are doing is is uh, magnifying, uh, putting out because again, you know, aluminum is obviously uh, in 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 the classification of metals. What if there's some sort of amplica amplification uh, amplification? And I should have had more coffee before doing this video, as we're up early early this morning. What if there's an amplifying effect that's going on here too with signals? And, and that's part of what these are all about as well. There's many layers to these uh, contrails. <laughs> yes, many, many layers. And pe people are noticing more and more uh, these waves, these frequencies that are hitting us sometimes more intensely than others, sometimes modifying uh, the weather, for instance, and intensifying storms. Then we have this whole effect of the Mandela effect. This is from Art of Kicks. And he does this video, and he's showing somebody with old technology. Now, I know Cindy loves old phones and, and certain digital cameras that we can pick up orbs on, and other ones you can't. Now, this hits me uh, as being something to do with that if this is real. And, and he's talking about, is this a, a parallel dimension? Somebody else of dimensions, what? is making photographs with an old, and, and he uses multiple, or, or she uses multiple old phones to photograph these items that we've talked about having in the Mandela effect, like Monopoly guy, does he have a monocle or not? 
Well, here's the curious thing is that what our eye sees is not what the phone sees. With the old phone, he takes the photo and you, you, you'll see the monocle. You remove it and there's no monocle. And it goes on down the line with all sorts of other items like, you know, fruit of the loom or is it, you know, not fruit of the loom? fruit of the loom and here there's just an and sign so it's changed whether it's uh, your eyes looking at it directly is different than when the camera on this old school uh you know phone is is doing it so what is exactly going on here and one of the things that hits me, you know, Berenstein and Berenstein, it, it, the phone sees Berenstein. The eyes see Berenstein, and it goes on and on. He gives, you know, a whole bunch of it, different examples. Even uh, SpongeBob playing a guitar. Let's see if this is that one. Uh, this, this was Skechers. With, is it with a T or is it without a T? I mean, there's just so many examples and jiff right jiff peanut butter it's another one it it's just mind-blowing but the reality is again we understand that our perception is unique first we should say that everybody has a unique perception it's as if this world around us is basically waiting for our consciousness to give it clues and then it reacts and it manifests accordingly. What if they are sending out signals that are interfering with that? Again, we've gotten from the from the guides that Project Bluebeam, you know, this this whole thing where oh you're gonna see a second coming of Christ in the clouds, you're gonna see an alien invasion in the clouds. Well, what we've gotten from the guides is that our what we see up every day over our our heads is not what is that is project bluebeam it's been that way our entire lives everything that you every time you've looked up out there at the sky and you've seen what you see you're really looking at an illusion it's a projection it's a, it's a hologram because there are other planets that they're hiding that are very close to us that would appear in the night sky and plus you would see motherships coming and going you would see that it's not like it looks like and i i think that's changing you know from from one one point to the next point i think our vibration our frequency is changing uh where we're actually starting to be able to see beyond that um, that filament that they put in the sky. So our perceptive abilities are now picking up and soon our perceptive abilities are not even going to seem like perceptive abilities to us. We're going to be able to see everything as it is. And since I was a little girl, the way I see things is there. there is no veil. The veil is not there. I can see everything. I just had to simply learn how to separate the two. What is the third eye and what is the two eyes? Took me some time um, to understand all of it. It was very, very confusing, but I think everyone is going to that point where their perceptive abilities are going to blend. It's all going to blend. So they can only keep this covered up for so long. And every single day that moves forward, we have better perceptive abilities. So it's very important for them to put us in this EMF toxic soup that keeps us kind of stable so that we can see what they want us to see. So everything is changing. And Mr. MBB did a really interesting video that one of our dear beloved family members uh, shared with us that I thought was very, very curious. And, you know, this shows the changing of the matrix, the glitch glitches that go on in the matrix and how they're always doing what they can to cover it up. But it's just getting harder to cover up. <clears throat> yeah. So you see, I think he's done two recently here. 
uh, does a dark invisible force have hold of Earth? Absolutely, of course. And you see that line. I, I remember doing a video on this, and he had done a video on this too, although I didn't hear him referring to that video. And I know we, we both did a video back uh, 2018, or it was either in late 2018. Yeah, it feels like it probably was somewhere around November or December of 2018. Our video was removed from Evolutionary. Um, and it showed a line cl quite clear, you know, around the earth. This is the hologram. This is what, what we're talking about. You know, this is technology. Again, uh, it's, it's, it's interesting to see, you know, I'll see comments like, well, you know, <clears throat> I agree with you of everything, but it's just humans. It's not aliens. No, it's aliens and, and interdimensional beings because the technology is way beyond what we have. Mm -hmm. It definitely is. It's. It, it's changing and it's changing every day so I think that's the scamper and these are the little mishaps that they come up and they have to um, definitely do what they can to cover it up and they have many 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 tools to cover up their mistakes with um, but even with that it, it's getting harder <clears throat> absolutely glitch in the matrix and then sometimes when people catch planets or even another sun that appears to be there and and you know they, they catch it because they're able to kind of bend uh some of the technology a little bit and 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 see what really is there because they are there that's the bottom line the reality we've been given is not the real reality again when we look back to uh these what what also does aluminum do well it, it can cause alzheimer's it can cause uh, all sorts of, of consciousness issues, and, and that's why it's up there. Uh, yeah, the long term, but also what if it's disrupting our consciousness right now in our brains, and then when they run these frequencies through, they're able to help amplify an illusion to keep us asleep. Go back to sleep. Obey. This is exactly what we what we we are seeing here. I know, and and that video that we watched that we showed you guys, and you, you'll have a link. Really, really, really go and watch that because even if it is fake, it is the, the person who did it is the best editor that I have ever, ever, ever seen. That I mean, they've done incredible work if it's fake. But when I was looking at it, I was trying to find all kinds of different, it's like I was trying to, I was trying to pick it apart. And usually, usually I can. And when I can't, I'm like, oh, wow, you know, this is something curious. And, you know, we don't have too old of phones, but I do have this digital camera that I catch my orbs on. So, I mean, we might give it a try. I don't know. I don't think it's the same as one of those old Palm phones, but uh, we'll give it a try. And I know one of our family members did send us another older phone a while ago. I might charge that one up and give that one a try too, because I think there's something to it. There is definitely something to it. So they are messing with our perceptive abilities because they know uh, we're we're moving into a place where we're not going to be able to be controlled and that's their biggest fear everyone has fears everyone has fears and theirs is losing control yeah absolutely so you know i go back and think about the little synchronicities in my own life you know this is these are again scenes from they live and you know um just uh, uh, it was a great movie i mean it was a lot of fun it was cheesy it was cheesy and you know this this whole paradigm though is real look at this too over here this is your god yeah this is your god yeah you know again you have so many people oh wow mark zuckerberg so yeah, you know, so so many people are are on everything. They understand, you know, the 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 politics. They understand so much, but then they still believe in the bible as it is in a fundamentalist standpoint. Or they're ready, you know, to to believe in a well. It's time for jihad. Yeah, again, you know, all that is just division. It's nothing but division. Again, doesn't mean there isn't a creator. There is a creator. And that that creator is really benevolent and, and full of love and not hateful, not spiteful, not jealous. No, the system is. The system is jealous, spiteful, hateful, divisive. 
the system is what says, no, you know, there's only one chosen people. That, how much more divisive can you get than that statement? That's the most divisive statement in the world. We alone are, are, are the creator's people. You can't get any more divisive. That's why it's done. This is all about division it, and it works. It, it absolutely, it, it does work. Yeah, conform, conform, buy, consume, obey, sleep, sleep. Oh, oh, well, you know, again, it, it takes me back to one other movie real quick. Yes, let's, because this is fun. We like to do movies. In fact, we were talking, we had so much fun doing that uh, review of that other movie. It's like, we want to do more movie reviews. And somebody even mentioned that in comments. Um, because we like to look at, at everything in a different perspective we like to see what angle are the controllers taking like what what things can we take away from them um so that was a lot of fun movies are just they're cool dark city was a really good one that one is like a real brain twister you know when you watch that it's like it's like those things once you once you see it you can never unsee it so you're like looking at things in your life and you're questioning it it's like wow, you know, could they do this? And I mean, where do you think all these movies come from? Where do you think these ideas come from? At one time and point, these things have happened and you can find everything you ever wanted to find in the Vatican, at the bottom of the Vatican. They have all of this information down there. Yeah, so, you know, he just, he's able, now these are actually aliens inhabiting human cadavers. And he just says at one point in time, sleep now. And and normal people sleep, but, but the main character is awake and they can't control them. And that totally, totally uh, screws up their paradigm as, as you see them gathering. And they just, uh, they, they stop everything. They freeze everything. They reset everything. They move people into new positions. They take a, a rich couple, make them poor, a poor couple, make them rich. And it's all about analyzing how the human soul works because they can't figure it out. And it's really a fascinating movie. And for the flat earthers out there, it shows that these people uh, think they're living on the planet uh, earth, but in reality, they're living on a ship. They're living on an alien ship. Uh, and it's called Dark City because it faces away from the sun because they don't like the sun, neither do um, the, the real controllers either. They're very much like vampires in that sense. Um, it, again, the sun is bringing information. It's bringing light. Light is information. It's also triggering our DNA that they've turned off. It's turning it right back on. And this is all part of the paradigm that we are in at this this period in time. So yeah, second coming, Project Blue Beam, everything has already been been in place, and it's been giving you an illusion of the sky your whole life. Ah, but stock up, be prepared. It's going to be an interesting year of 2024. Indeed. As always, guys. Please do share these videos, share your awakening with others. Much love, source bless, and namaste. Namaste.